Hey guys, this is Lauren Everts from The Skinny Confidential and today I've teamed up with The Design Network to show you how to style a gothic vanity. So let's get started. So let's start off with this vanity. I am so in love with it. We found it at a thrift store. It's vintage and it was brown and woody and gross and we had a friend refinish it so it's black and kind of glossy but it still has that gothic feel because of the edges. Um, there's little gold touches on here too that we added so that's fun. But the best part of this vanity is it opens into a mirror. So you can't see it but underneath here is kind of a felt velvet lining and I can store stuff that I don't want people maybe to see like you know weird herbs or oils or just anything kind of funky like deodorant love this so the first thing I am going to add to my vanity is this clear makeup holder you guys know I'm a super big fan of Lucite or clear things because it doesn't take up too much space and it's see-through this one I just got online and it holds my perfumes my foundations my primers and my lotions. So it's all in one spot. And then it also has this cute little lipstick holder so I can see everything and it's organized and tidy. So I like the label spacing out on this. I know that's kind of OCD, but I feel like you definitely need a makeup tray on your vanity, obviously. The next thing I'm adding to my vanity is this white mirror. Now you guys might not think this is fitting with the gothic theme, but I feel like it totally is because it has these kind of like gothic themed edges. And also the white lacquer kind of adds a fun touch. I like this at the corner of the vanity so I can use the big mirror or the small mirror if I want to zoom in on my face, which normally I don't, so I like to use the big mirror. But this looks pretty on the vanity either way. So you cannot have a vanity without having a vintage lipstick holder. This one is so cute, it's rose gold, and it just holds all my lipsticks in one spot. I got these for all my girlfriends for Christmas. They absolutely love them. And you can also get fun with this and roll the lipsticks up so you can see all the colors, or you can keep the caps on like this, and this can go anywhere on the vanity. It's so fun and so cute. I cannot do anything without candles. So this one's that gothic feel, the wax is kind of melting over a bottle. You can DIY this at home. And sometimes when I'm getting ready, I'll light a candle just to calm down. So this is perfect and actually necessary for my vanity. I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. Shocker, you guys know I love trays. I talk about trays all the time. This one's marble. It fits perfect with that gothic theme. I like to put my jewelry on here or a pretty perfume and I feel like it completes the left side. Here's some of my everyday jewelry. Having the everyday jewelry on here is perfect so I can just grab it before I leave. I have my watch and these little tiny gold bracelets that I like to wear um, when I'm going out with friends or a date night with Michael and those just look pretty right on the tray. Here are some more little tray trinkets. This is a face rehydrating mist. I'm gonna put this at the tip of the tray. It adds a little bit of color on my gothic vanity, but not too much because it's light green. And then I have this little teeny bird that Michael got me in Cabo. It's kind of just like a cute detail added touch and some moisturizer for nighttime. When I am putting on my makeup, I like to take all my jewelry off. I don't like to get any makeup or foundation or nasty primer on my jewelry. So this is a ring dish and this is where I put my rings or like little dainty necklaces or anything and it says M Heart L in it. Super cute, right? And I just put this right on the corner of the vanity. So now we're gonna talk about what doesn't get seen on my vanity because um, there's definitely a few of those things. This is a little diffuser oil holder. It has all my oils that I put in my oil diffuser and then it has just like some ugly chapsticks that are old but I'm still obsessed with. So this I put in the part where you can barely see anything and if I want to close the top of the mirror, I can totally do that too when I have guests over. These are my herbs. I take them every night. It's valerian root and some long name I can't pronounce. Um, but these are fun to put in tea and I just like having them in a super accessible place. So they're right by my nightstand and I can just grab it on the go. This is my other little jewelry tray. I put my little necklaces here that I wear out at night. They're super dainty and to have them in one spot so they don't get tangled is awesome. Um, I also have little crystals on here I got in Arizona that adds a little teeny pop of color but not being too overwhelming. And then lastly, I have this cool little vintage champagne stir. This is a necklace, but I just feel like it's so cute on my vanity too. It pops up. How cute is that, right? Perfumes, I love perfume, who doesn't? Um, each of these perfumes serves a different purpose. This one's for night, this one's for day, this one's kind of for working out, super light. Um, I have all three of these right on my vanity so they're accessible and easy and I can grab it on the go. 
So lastly, I'm just gonna add this Mango Seed Lip Scrub. It's perfect before I apply my lipstick. As you can see, I have tons of lipstick, so this is totally an essential. So this is my Gothic vanity. I totally recommend going to antique or vintage shops to look for your own vanity that you can remake yourself. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a tour of my gothic vanity, and I will see you next time. Tag me in any of your at-home pictures as the Skinny Confidential.